Yeah, it is. It is. It is actually very, very significant because they are doing this thing day in and day out. This is the kind of their core domain, and it, they are funding us, so it gives us also a lot of confidence. It is the first funding we have got, and we can hit the ground now and start building the testing facility that we have been talking about for. It's going to be the world's, uh, world's biggest hyperloop testing facility once constructed and we're going to construct it inside the IIT Madras Discovery Campus and through this facility we actually want to host global competitions and make IIT Madras the hub, the global hub for hyperloop development across the world. The pod is basically, it's just like a, a metro train running in a vacuum tube. So, uh, since uh, metros, uh, they're running in open environment, they face a lot of air resistance. But since we are running it in vacuum tube, uh, the air resistance will be very minimal and we'll be able to achieve very high speeds and thus reduce the time of travel. Uh, wheels will be there just for emergency purposes. Uh, when running in uh, normal uh, operation, it will uh, be running without. So basically, Hyperloop is a concept which was proposed for 1200 km per hour and it will be completely contactless. Uh, basically, it will uh, float on the track and, uh, without any uh, surface touching the wheel. Uh, speeds, we are aiming at approximately 800 to 1000 km per hour and yeah, it will be competing with the airplanes and any other mode of transport. So such an efficient mode of transport would help reduce population centers basically like it will help like in the flow of people from city to city and it basically brings distances shorter. Another thing with this kind of mode of transportation is it's completely electric so that means it does not have any uh, combustion of fuels involved so it is completely sustainable and eco-friendly and speed is only an added advantage so it makes it even better. It's been uh, life changing for me sir, actually <laughs> and I have got my uh, like placement because of my work in Avishkar Hyperloop and uh, yeah, it's, been, it's been a fun ride sir, yeah. With the coming up bullet trains and metros at a very high speed, we can expect the next uh, Hyperloop technology to come in around 5 to 10 years. Maybe you could say around 2028 to 2030.